to explore the mathematics of the relationships between probabilities. I'm going to use two examples, one in which I will use the rolling of a single six-sided fair die, and a second example using poker chips. Let's begin with the roll of the die, and I have established three possible events. Event A is rolling a one or a six. Event B is rolling an even number. And event C is rolling either a 2 or a 5. Let's begin with the rule of addition for probability. The addition rule is the probability that either event A or event B occurs. This is going to apply to the union of two events. We could write this as the probability of A or B equals the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. Or we could write the same thing using either the union or the intersection symbols. What is happening is that when two events overlap and there's one part that they share in common, that part is getting counted twice. That's why we need to subtract something out of the probabilities. For example, let's examine event A, rolling a 1 or a 6. Two possible outcomes out of 6. Event B is an even number, three possible outcomes out of 6. And therefore, A contains 1 and 6, B contains 2, 4, and 6. The intersection of A and B contains 6. That is the piece being counted twice. So we must therefore subtract the one-sixth from the addition of the two previous probabilities. Two-six plus three-six is five-sixths minus one-sixth, four-sixth, or two-thirds, or 0.667. There is, however, a special case for the addition rule. The special case occurs when A and B are mutually exclusive. That is, there are no shared outcomes between them. And in that case, all you need to do is to add up the probabilities. Event A includes outcomes of 1 and 6. Event C is mutually exclusive. It is rolling a 4 or a 5 there are no shared outcomes between these two events. All we need to do is add the probability of A, 2 over 6, with the probability of C, 2 over 6, giving us a total of 4 over 6, or 0.667. Now we can talk about the multiplication rule. The multiplication rule is the probability that event A and event B occur together. This will be applying to the intersection of two events. The probability of the intersection of two events is the probability of A times the probability of B given A. For this example, I'm going to use poker chips. I have three red poker chips, which I place in the bag, two blue poker chips, and two green poker chips. We are going to randomize and then choose one at random. But I'm not going to show you what it is yet. The probability of choosing a red poker chip the first time is 3 over 7. There are three red poker chips among the seven in the bag. I choose the first poker chip, and it is red. As we consider the probability for choosing a second poker chip, we need to consider the probability of B given A. I have chosen one, which means there is now one less red, and there is one less poker chip in total. Event B is the probability of drawing a red poker chip for the second draw. 
which means that we must consider the probability of B given A. There are now two red poker chips among six possible chips that could be chosen. Therefore, we will multiply 3 over 7 times 2 over 6, giving us 6 over 42, which reduces to a probability of 0.14, drawing a red poker chip on both the first and the second draw. And there is a special case for the multiplication rule as well. When A and B are independent events, the probability of A given B equals the probability of B. This is because there is sampling with replacement. I draw the first poker chip and I replace it back into the bag before I draw the second one. The intersection of A and B equals the probability of A times the probability of B. As before, the probability of drawing a red on the first trial is 3 over 7. However, I then replaced the first poker chip and drew again. These events are now independent. The probability of drawing a red on the second draw is now the probability of B given A, which is the same as the probability of B, 3 over 7. Multiply 3 over 7 by 3 over 7, we get 9 over 49, which reduces to a 0.18. Now you know how to do the mathematics for intersections and unions in exploring relationships between probabilities.